Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to just go ahead and show you guys a little sneak peek of the character I'm going to be leveling in Path of Exile. Kind of just getting myself prepared and re-familiarized with the game before Synthesis launches. So if you guys watched my previous video, you'll know I told you guys that I'm interested in playing Jug this go around. I normally pick a offensive ascendancy and try to build my characters defensive. Uh, there are slight, you know, changes to that and stuff. But this time around, I'm going to pick a really defensive ascendancy and then just try to find offensive gear. Uh, a little bit of a difference, mainly because I like cycling through and playing different ascendancies because if I don't end up finding something that I like, then I end up replaying a build I've played before. Um, I'm sure you guys know all about that, like Death's Oath, Righteous Fire, various trap builds, etc. So this go around, I am playing a currently Flame Blast Jug. Now, this doesn't mean I'm going to play Flame Blast Jug in the new league or anything. Um, the reason why I decided on Flame Blast is I didn't want to use, like, the brand skills because I already played through the brand skills. I tried Firestorm, but Firestorm did not really feel that good, and Firestorm is getting a huge buff in the next patch with the new support gems, and I just wanted to try something I haven't really played before. I haven't really made a Flame Blast build, the, like... What spawned there uh, in a really long time. So I was just curious to see how it would go. And so far it's going pretty well. Um, this character is SSF. Now I won't be playing SSF in the new league. The only reason why I'm playing SSF now is because uh, I just don't want to like throw a bunch of twink gear on my character. The whole point of making this character is to like remember how to play through the game again with limited resources uh, for the new league. So currently I just have a really shitty piece of gear. It's plus one with uh, Flame Blast, Faster Casting, Combustion. Um, sorry, there's currently a child abduction alert happening in Texas, so uh, hide your kids, hide your wives, boys. Anyway, like I was saying, um, we're gonna be getting the Ignite Proliferation Support Gem. Uh, that's at level 38, and the purpose of that is so that, basically, like you see the mobs here, I can just Flame Blast once, the Ignite Prolif will kill off all the stragglers, and then hopefully our single target will be enough. Uh, if not, we can always just remove the Ignite Prolif for, you know, like a gem swap. Um, but part of the reason why we're also going Jug is we're going to be using a staff. And staves on the left-hand side of the tree offer crit. So instead of going to the shadow side of the tree, we're going to stay on the left side here and grab, for example, you have, you have crit on the left side right here. So you have like Whirling Barrier, well, mainly these three crit nodes. And then you have more crit up at the top right, which is located right here. Serpent Stance, which is a super nice node. Um, yeah, so then I guess also one benefit of using staves on the left side of the tree is that staves offer block chance implicit. So even though you're not using a shield, you still will have a decent amount of block. And being as we're playing a Juggernaut, we should have decent physical mitigation, along with having a decent armor pool because of the double uh, body armor. I don't know exactly what body armor I'm going to use. Like I said, I'm not really going to be talking too much about endgame because this is just me leveling my character right now at 37. Um, I do have to also respec back into here because I just jumped out here. And then we're also going to be use minion damage scaling. I don't try to throw minion damage scaling into my build, but there's really no reason to not get it, especially if I'm going on the left side of the tree up here. So I guess I'm just going to go ahead and run the comb to you guys and show you how it does. I was really like, when I first started leveling this character, I was like annoyed because I was, well, not really annoyed, but it's kind of like, you know, playing a Marauder and going as a spellcaster is not really something the game wants you to do because of like the way gem rewards work and things like that. So. Uh, I pretty much just used like Molten Strike, uh, Molten Strike, Ancestral Call up until Sunder, and then I just used like Sunder, um, you can use Added Fire slash Chance to Bleed with Onslaught, and you use that all the way up until you're ready to go Flame Blast, which you pretty much just need a plus one weapon, and you're good to go for Flame Blast. But let me just show you guys the single target, and then we'll be good to go. Do, 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 do. I think we killed a Zaro in like three t like three flame blast pulse like ten stacks. That's really nice. I remember leveling my RF builds and playing Sunder with those and being miserable for like 45 minutes trying to do normal Azaro, but 
No more of those days. Or in PoE power creep land now. The only thing I really need to do is get a bunch of cast speed, but cast speed will come later through gear. Uh, quality gems. Um, actual having like cast speed on my weapon. I only have cast speed on the shield right now. I'll be done in a minute. Okay, and that's pretty much the fight. Okay. So just show you guys a quick little overview of how we currently are going to be building the character. Um, it will be an Iron Will character, but again, you know, since we're in SSF at the moment, Iron Will is probably not really going to be the smartest thing to do. Um, so this is just a little overview of what we're doing. I was trying Firestorm originally, like I said, and with Firestorm I basically came over here and connected to grab the extra duration. Uh, but right now we're going to be working our way up. I don't know if, like how much I'm really going to work into Ignite either. I just want to have Ignite so my clear is decent. Uh, but if the, ignite, if the Ignite damage is good enough, then I can most likely just drop the Ignite nodes. Okay, but uh, that's pretty much it. So hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I hope some of you guys are not too burnt out with PoE, so I can see you guys in the next league with me on Synthesis. So I'll catch you guys all later. Have a wonderful time, everybody.